In this problem, we're going to find the area bounded by the graphs uh, that are given on the board. So let's go ahead and draw a picture of this region and let's find the area. So here is the y-axis and here is the x-axis. So um, y equals zero is a horizontal line, so that's this line here. And then x equals zero is a vertical line, so that's this line here. Uh, x equals four is a vertical line, so it's over here. Let's just say it's here. And then what's left is y equals three to the x. That's an exponential function that looks something like this. So now you can see where the graphs intersect. It would be something like this. This would be your region right here. So the goal is to find the area of this region. So recall whenever you have a function that's non-negative, and it's, so it's above the x-axis, the integral of this function from, in this case, from zero to four is going to give you the area under this curve. So the area here is going to be the definite integral from zero to four of three to the x dx. That's gonna give us the area. So all you do is integrate this function from zero to four. Okay, so now all we have to do is integrate this. So recall when you integrate three to the x, you just get three to the x, and then you divide by the natural log of three. And so now all we have to do is draw a little line, and we put our zero here, and we put our four here. Always plug in the four first, so you get three to the fourth, to the fourth ln three, minus three to the zero ln three. 3 to the 4th is 81 because it's 3 squared times 3 squared, so it's 9 times 9. This is 81 natural log of 3 minus, and then 3 to the 0 is 1, so this is 1 over natural log of 3. 81 minus 1 is 80, so we end up with 80 over the natural log of 3. And that would be the area under this graph. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.